Welcome back to the Spire video blog. As you can see, we are in transit. I'm on my way to O'Hare Airport. Actually, Becca is with me. She's behind the camera. We're going to stop off at a beverage expo in Chicago before I get on a plane. But I will be flying to Florence, Italy this evening. Um, the purpose of the trip is, I, as many of you know, I teach for Robert Morris University in Chicago. And one of the wonderful perks of my job is I get to escort some students to Florence, Italy about every other year or so. And this year I'm taking 16 students along with me. Uh, when we get to Florence, um, I just want to kind of give you an overview of what the plan is. I will be co-teaching two classes with the students. One is a regional Italian cooking class, and the other is a cultural perspectives class, which is uh, basically uh, a class to teach them how to immerse themselves into the Florentine lifestyle, the Italian lifestyle. Uh, so there'll be a lot of field trips, visiting restaurants, grocery stores, uh, maybe some wineries or some other foodie type locations. And then I will also be participating in, in something which I am the most excited about um, is a program called Tutto Toscana, which is a program that the school in Florence puts on every year. It's the Apicius International School of Hospitality. And the program um, puts together uh, usually three or four chef instructors, one of which is myself and usually seven to 12 students from around the world. These students are handpicked uh, by the executive chef of the school, Andrea Tramiani, and we will, uh, some of us will be working together in Florence uh, to prepare for some events in New York City. So the idea to, is to bring these students together to test recipes, to pair wines with each course to make sure that um, the students know why we're pairing each wine with wood in each course and to make sure they know how to execute these very high caliber events we're going to do in New York. The other part of it is uh, we'll be working with a few photography students who also uh, document this entire, entire process and will also do a lot of advertising to get people to the events. We will then all fly to New York City on October 19th, October 20th roughly. And I will be meeting two of my alumni students, one of which is a very good friend of mine, um, Kat Alimo and Dan Eel uh, from Robert Morris. And um, the three of us, along with everybody else who is in Florence, are going to be cooking at the James Beard Foundation in Manhattan. Uh, this will take place on October 25th and 26th. We're doing a lunch service on the 25th and a dinner service on the 26th. Uh, for those of you who don't know the James Beard Foundation, it's, um, it is a, has a lot of prestige. It's a, it's a huge honor to cook at the foundation. Um, it's it's kind of like the Hall of Fame for chefs. They give out awards every year. They have uh, they give out scholarships to uh, up and coming culinary students. Um, and it's it's just a, a worthwhile cause and to have the opportunity to cook at the foundation in the home of such a, a huge culinary pioneer it is a huge honor for myself and something that I turned down last year in order to open the, the restaurant. And I was humbly given the same opportunity again this year, which I'm not passing up, as you can see. So I will be gone for about a month and two days. In the meantime, I hope you follow along because I'm going to post some video blogs along the way. Um, maybe of some of the recipe testing, uh, some of the field trips. I have arranged for two winery visits. Uh, one is a friend of mine who is in Florence. Her name is Camila, and her family owns a winery, which I'm excited to take a tour. And then a couple of our wine reps from the restaurant have set up some uh, potential uh, tours as well. So lots going on. And I hope you follow along with me and keep up with us on Facebook as well because I'll post some pictures along the way. And the restaurant will continue to operate as normal. I've got a tremendous staff behind me that's allowing me to take part in this amazing opportunity. And I hope you continue to support them while I'm away and continue to support the restaurant. Nothing will change. Um, and if it does, if you experience something that is kind of off kilter because I'm away, don't hesitate to let me know, whether it's through email or, or uh, calling the restaurant and they will get a message to me. So, till next time, I will see you in Florence when we touch down. Have a good day.